Hey, I'm the Admiral, and you're in tune with The Boiler Room on H2P Media. If it's the truth you're looking for, stay right here. Now, you made an interesting point earlier about why people are not feeling the music, yeah. right? Because, you didn't say this, but if I'm interpreting correctly, the NCF is, you are saying the NCF is over-managing and in many cases mismanaging the music. The people are feeling, do I have you correct there? I won't Am I pull understanding? It, I won't pull it out the NCF if you talk about the, the, the feel of the music. Barbados has lost it, its way. Barbados has lost its way. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that there's too much experimenting going on. Experimenting? Too much. What do you mean by that? Too much. People are trying all types of rhythms, all types of feels, all types of different things. and Maybe they're trying to find it. The, the part of it that, that they have not concentrated on is one of the most important parts of a song, something called the melody. You see, when the melody is missing, when, when, when you can't take an instrumental and play it by itself and enjoy it, but you put lyrics to it and you expect it to be the greatest thing since sliced bread, you have your problem. And one of the biggest problems we got in Barbados is not only the guys who go and perform, it's the arrangers and producers that they go to who don't seem to understand what it's all about. And this concept of rhythms and calypso rhythms have really come and created such a big wall and has really and truly limited the creative ability of the Kaisonian now, because all of a sudden it's become easy. So Adrian Green and an admiral and everybody could go into a studio and say, like, you go a rhythm, let me sing on it. You know what happens? There's really no variety in your delivery because you got to perform to the rhythm that is provided where the melodic structuring is the same, the key structuring is the same. You have to write your lyrics to make sure that you bounce in and out the same way. So there's no variety. So I want to ask you a question. <coughs> Expect, imagine Edwin Learwood pump me up and 10 people doing a song on that rhythm. Hold up. But is word in reggae? Th that's my, yo, you just read my mind. It's different I have, I have, I have albums. Different culture. CDs of in an entire rhythm. And every song sounds different. Mean? But Marley never went on a rhythm though, right? But Marley never went on the rhythm, and every song, I mean, that Bob Marley, we've, we've no, had... No, I, 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 I want to stick to the Bob Marley turn in, in reggae is different than dance or reggae is a difference. No, 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 no. The, the reggae that Bob Marley sings and The difference is only a reggae. passage of time. The difference is only a passage of time. The Jamaicans have always been very creative and innovative. In but I, I want to, I want to stick to the levels. point. Why is it that I can listen to an entire dance hall rhythm and get a different vibe from every song? Well, I, but I don't know. How am I supposed to answer that? You're an individual. Okay. The vibe that you may get, I may not get. Mm -hmm. But I am saying to you, when you look at the creative process and the fact that they keep saying that Barbados is still in the embryonic stage, I don't know how come we're still in there. Because, I mean, the competition we started in 1978, 1979. By now, we should have been a lot further. This, these are a lot of years. I think that have regressed. I don't think that we've gotten better. I'm not hearing melodies. I'm not hearing sweetness. Give me something that I can remember. Give me something that I can sing and feel good. I ask the people last night or night before on Facebook what is going to be road march right go and look at the, the, the answers they gave me what what in this day and age just imagine that is all we could come up with what wrong with what boat that is all we, we got to put out there what wrong with boat I, I ain't saying nothing wrong with it mm. I want to see how many songs right that we could safely say could win road march in Barbados not many would continue to be repeated, would continue to be repeated, boat, would, boat, would, boat, and maybe down the line, paradise, maybe down the line, oh yeah? So you're saying you there should be more songs in contention? Of course, but we got 700 songs, 700 songs in the system to play, and you can only, you can only name three? 700 songs and you can ring them three and you can look at me and tell me the, the festival is improving. I mean, the musicians and everything is getting better. Is it, is it, that, those, I mean? is it that those are the three that stand out? <laughs> Please. I, you understand 700 songs and you got three? Mm. My goodness, come on, Adrian. Older than 700, how much you listen to? A lot. No, uh, a lot in the number? A lot no, 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 a lot. I, I, I must, in my, in my profession, uh -huh. I, I try hard. 100? 
Yeah, yeah, I probably, I probably heard a lot more than hundred. All, right, all right, let me say two hundred. Yeah. Out of them, out of them two hundred, how many of them you remember? Not many. Good. When it's a word, you remember that one. Though. No, but I, I. No, I mean, when not, it's a word, no, you no, remember no. that one. I remember one, word though. for a lot more reasons, though. What? All right. Well, well, word, word has been a song that's been on the lips of many people. There are several things that helps you to remember a song. Not only the melodic structuring and 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 what I like about what Skrilla did was I looked at the way he handled the topic, the development of the topic. Mm -hmm. We've discussed this on television already. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the big problems I've got in Barbados is that I question how literate we are as a people because I notice that a lot of our songs are not developed. The themes are not developed to take me to other places and other spaces. We, we, are, we are caught with alcohol songs, songs that deal with the female anatomy and all types of things, but I'm not hearing many, many songs in the party mode, in the street soccer mode, that have really carried me to an area of development. So when I heard Skrilla and he was in Bashman Soak, I said, but this is refreshing. Here it is that somebody comes with a song that absolutely says nothing about all the noise that was kept before, but he has developed the theme. I felt they could have done a little better when I, when, I, when I look at the topic, and I've, I've referred to Kaisos over the years, that was about Wood. Ben Wood Dick was one of them songs. If you don't know it, Google it and have a listen to how Swallow treated Wood. The same concept of Wood. We've had Mighty Sparrow doing Wood songs and Lord Canary and a few other people. So I listened to how they treat it. I don't think that Skrilla did anything magical with it. But what he did was enough to create a freshness and to show the crew in the Bashman Soccer that, look, you can actually develop a theme. You can actually develop your song and do a good song and put it out there in Bashman Soccer style and it would work. He so didn't perform so all that. So you think that Bashman yes. Soccer is now a new avenue of the Soccer that we a different avenue would be a custom new, thing. I like, that, I, like, I like to look at new. Bashman Soccer, I like for this one reason. It helped a lot of young people who I felt found that they would never find a way in the National Festival to become a part of it. For me, anything that encourages my people to get involved in their culture, I am all for. But however, there are some things that we need to look at. Bashman Soka now, that word Bashman is a behavior. It is a behavior and not necessarily a music pattern. We know where the music pattern comes, comes from. It comes from all those magnificent Jamaican rhythms that would have gone before, and they're using several samples to promote the music. So Barbados can't hold full credit for it. Barbados has to remember that it is peace, a lot of Jamaicans. Same thing can be said for the Kaiso. And, and a lot of Barbadians. Same thing but, can be said for the Kaiso. But, but hold on, hold on. But the Bashman Soka is, is easily more identifiable, identifiable as having encroached on the Jamaican art form more than anything else. Musically. Or musically. But verbally. Mus musically, verbally and orally. No, 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 yeah, yeah, that, that's all right. That is all right. But let us remember that Jamaican music carried the same traits. It was very Jamaican to the bone. The parochial language was maintained in that. I have no problem with Barbados going at it at that. What I would like to see, though, is that because you're doing Bashman Soka, you got to stick to the themes and stuff that you've been working on. You can't do something else. You can't put a little imagination in your creative um, ability. And, isn't and, that and a problem? Isn't different. that a problem Is that Soka, Soka, Soka right has? Soka has across the board, though, because even in other forms of Soka, the themes are very limited. No, what 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 has happened in Soka music across the the world? is that the artists have gotten smart. Now, it didn't start in the 2000s, because in 1984, in 1984, Super Blue released a song called Jump and Wave. Mm -hmm. And Super Blue started something that sometimes I sometimes wonder when he lies down, it's better if he's regretted. Jump and Wave brought us all the way from the early 1980s right into now, like today. Mm -hmm. It is only in the last three, four years that we don't make songs that really promote the jump on wave. If you remember John King in 1986 won with Amba and jump on wave to wave, show yeah. you that after all that time, that was still coming down the road. If you go to any carnival in the Caribbean, the concept of jump on wave, when the artist ain't got a good song and the people ain't taking them on, they just say, if you're a virgin, put up your hand or wave something. If you like Barbados, put up your hand and wave something. That's when you identify that them fellas singing ta-ta or pup. And they can't get the crowd to respond, so they got to do something to get the but crowd to respond. But Father Fox got a big one this year about Jump Massive Wave. Massive song, huh? ill-treated, ill-treated really? in, in the Sweet Soaker come. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Ill-treated in the Sweet yeah, Soaker. Yeah, Agreed with you. Father yeah. Fox, but yeah. he should have been in Sweet Soaker. Big tune. You had to be deaf, dumb, and blind as a judge. Big tune. To but see like, a man. Uh, uh, here's what I can start with there now. You see, he was a man that got all this knowledge. And you know how to get things going forward. Instead of letting him keep mashing up the thing, 
get up more there so that you know what? As Admiral. Sometimes the Admiral got get up and go down the engine room to tell people what to do. Go down there and met your president's felt and let him know how serious it is. Or else, you can be back here again next year saying, man, you don't know the still match not because me asking. I can't understand. I still in the same predicament. But anytime... Then, you're going to just be a controversial person. You're going to be a person that make a step forward and say, look, how you want shit But you know what's going you know what happened? Let's say Admiral became a judge. Somebody's going to get left out of the competition and somebody else is going to say, well, them judges, Admiral and them, don't know it. Because there's a competition, and only certain amount Not of people can get in. Not only that, um, and you are so right. You are so right, and it is unfortunate that you are. I had a situation like this in St. Vincent with Farman Hooper, and I had to write the NCC in St. Vincent a letter, because when the judges came back into the deliberation room, um, the points were extremely close. And I said, well, gentlemen, we have to now determine whether or not Farman Hooper or Skinny Fabulous won this competition tonight. And I went to judge number one, what is your reason for giving Skinny Fabulous one point more than, than Farman Hooper? And he looked at me and he said, you know what, I tired of Farman Hooper winning the we gotta give somebody else. I said, that's the end of this meeting. That's the end of this meeting. So what you said is absolutely correct. Judges are really something else, you know. There's no way that you could watch that show that Father Fox performed at, at Kensington Oval. No way. Based on who were selected and don't carry Father Fox, he did everything right. But listen, this is why I don't like art competitions, right? Because I used, I used to teach visual art in secondary school. I know where you're going. And I've been asked to judge um, competitions with people who haven't spoken word before. And the thing is, you have a criteria before you. So you got 10 people performing. And you give each person marks based on the criteria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you go back and you tabulate your own score sheet, the body that gets the most points on your score sheet is not the person who you feel should win. And you want to know what's going on? I feel that like Admiral was better than Farai, but I, get, I end up giving Farai more points than Admiral because based on the criteria in front so of me. So everyone that you got, you say from between one and five, and as you get on, you're going down, you might give me two for this, but give he three. Yes. So then he going ahead of me on points. But, but when I look at the whole performance now, and I put everything together, on the whole, Admiral was more impactful. But when I break it down into little pieces, now you get more points. Art is funny like that. No, there's something called the ranking system mm. that allows you to make a personal adjustment. Um, Barbados just introduced, I think, two years ago, but Antigua went that road for a long time, where I would, I would give you, it used to be like this, I would give you a certain amount of points, 20 points, and you have that 20 points based on the judgment that you just gave, the idea you just gave, but wait, hold on, this guy was better than this guy, though, but how can we get more points? So what they do then, they refer to this wonderful system called the ranking system, and the ranking system is, the, in fact, the system that tells the story of who will win that competition. Mm. Now, I have, I have an issue with that. And my issue with that is very simple. If I sit down and I watch you perform, Farai, and all your elements were correct, and I scored you like that, right? What is it that tells me that though you get all these points, and I wrote them down at the end of the day, do you get all these points that you were not the person who should have won that competition? I might give you all these points, but then when I look at the overall competition, I say, you know, Farai was real good. He get high in this thing, but that fella there was more dynamic. Yeah? He's the man that we can get the crown to. At the same time, you get the most points. So uh -huh. you fulfill the criteria. It's like the elections in America the other day. <laughs> yes, elections. yes, yes. <laughs> you want me to be part of the vote, yes. but you me to be like, yeah. boy, like yeah. that, that is why, that is why I believe... Yeah, that technicality is, is, is really be a it, It's very serious. Yeah. That is why I believe, I, I'm not too sure that the competition is the healthiest way to go. I'm not, I, I, I'm, I must admit, I am not sure um, that it is good for us as a people. Too often we like to be better than somebody else. We want to take away all the money, like the Bashment Soka competition. I was so upset that you would give one person fifty thousand dollars. So you, as you a, don't want a second place? As, as, no, no, no. And, you and, got second place, and, and, but the second place is carrying on the same thing as third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seventh. Right now, now this is yeah. why I was saying, if you got fifty thousand dollars and you want to encourage the people to get into the thing and do the thing. $25,000 for the winner, $15,000 for the second man, $10,000 for the third man. So even if Skrilla had lost, and he was internally disappointed and he handled it well, he's such a gentleman, 
at least he would have known that you're going home with fifteen thousand dollars, and the third person getting ten thousand. What that money does, it helps them now to go and reinvest in creating a product for next year. Because it's expensive to put on. It, it is. A, it is extremely expensive, and it is selfish on the artists themselves. And they bring it back to the artist green because you have as as a group of artists that they came to me after this competition, and they've had a conversation with me and said, Admiral, we want somebody like you who could talk for us, who could probably look at managing us into this competition. Who came to you? A group, a group of guys. Okay. They met me outside CBC in the yard. And I said to them, I said, listen to me, let me say something to you, all right? If I ever get crazy and look to take over the competition as your representative, you all got to listen to everything I say. And everything I want you all to do, you have to do. Because you see that $50,000 in the boy ain't getting that $50,000 or more. That $50,000 going cross the slate of people. You understand what I mean? You will find that over time, you you get your $25,000, you work on improving your craft, you get 15, he improves this, and the competition six and seven years down the line becomes greater because the prize money will increase over time. It also helps in the camaraderie, the continuing existence of the friendship that is important to exist among the artists. And they don't seem to understand that. We, as human beings, we are so cravatious. We want to grab at everything. So I want, I want to clear this up tonight, Admiral. So you do not dislike or hate Bashman Soka. Not at all. Why should I? As a, as a form of music for the youngsters to get involved. I, what I don't like is the lack of creativity in it. It's, it's poor. It's horrible. You bring in women on stage to walk up and wind up. But isn't that standard uh, in soccer across yeah, the board? No, it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not that's not unique to Bashman? That's not standard. That's How not much standard. Is that unique to Bashman? No, 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 no. no. The, be, care, be very careful with the women. The, the women that, that dance in Bashman soccer uh -huh. is a far cry. So but it's how the dancing dance. got a problem with it? But, but come on. Come on, man. But that's the old man and you stepping out. No. No, that's the old, 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 old man. That's the old man. That's the old man. Them, let me tell you something. Them women, the skin out. Wait, what you say? Skin out. You hear what young people they say? But we do. You know what act between me? Yeah, I know what right. thing is. So when men say act between, right. and at the level no more, we know we're going to act the same, but we too old to act no, the same, so we'll relax no, that, and let them act the thing. That's, 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 that's how you speak yourself. That's that's not, we're not too old, that's the thing. Listen, yeah. I mean, let me say something about power. Power is a... You see, you see this whole thing about freedom and stuff? Freedom is a very powerful thing. And when, when you exercise freedom and it's not controlled and monitored, it ends up disastrous. Yes, that means people are saying... It, but you know, you know, you know this is a, Historically, yes. every generation has said the same thing you are saying it now ends up about disastrous. The, every generation has no, said but, the same but, thing you are saying now about the generation coming up. But here's what we have to be very careful about. There's a missing generation, as, and, and as Ella and Del said, if you don't find them, they will find you. Mm -hmm. And they're finding you, the repercussions are going to be horrible. We have to seriously look, and we're in a priest... And the thing, we are normal, natural men who was who had a level of broad tipsy and understand when something has gone too far left or too far right. The fear of the older people in this society accepting what the young people are doing, even if it is not right, is that the older people don't want to feel left out. Don't want to, as he put it, getting old. Mm -hmm. There is in life, there is something that you can live with that keeps you flowing. Um, and I, there's an example that I don't want to use because it would be unfair to the person. But I want to say to you, Adrian Green, and to Farai and, and everybody else who here in this program, it is important that you as the older and wiser individual continue to parent the country. Parent the country. I ain't telling you to, to enslave nobody or nothing. I'm saying to you, help to parent the country. You will be amazed as to the amount of young people, and I work with them every day. I had a beautiful experience this morning. I work with them every day who come to you and says, Mr. Nelson, I am doing this. Is this the way that I should do it and stuff? I don't stop them from being young and vibrant and letting out themselves. But you have to guide them along particular paths or they're going to lose it or me, you can get a left home in a minute.